way if it's so, so good. Welcome to a new video on my channel. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe, because that'd be cool, I guess. Today's video is uh, actually featuring this, my BMW M3 E92. Being straight up, it is a sponsored video. I am, uh, I have been sent this thing by the company, but I thought it'd be cool to demonstrate it on this car, because I feel like it has some features that will definitely benefit people. Like, normally, I, I'd like I said, all, all the time, I always get offered these sort of car related products to promote because obviously once you have a mild following on a platform companies want to get in on that and i tend to say no this one has some mad benefits to you if especially if you're looking to buy one of these now this is it's got one feature on the whole app that i believe is almost like valueless like valueless priceless <laughs> a priceless little feature on this to just protect yourself when buying one of these uh these cars are obviously high performance vehicles to a point. Would you class it as a high performance car? Yeah. 420 brake. Like that, obviously they can fall into the wrong hands. They can uh, be look mistreated and not uh, maintained properly because actually with the M3s to be fair, they've got really good service plans. They're actually just like the same cost really as a three series just with some M tax on. So they're actually not too bad. But when I bought it, it was really low mileage and that meant I paid top money for it. Thankfully mine had full service history and I've actually already used the little gadget thing that they sent me just to double check before we put it on camera. And luckily, well thankfully and knowingly, it has the correct mileage. But I wanna show you this thing. I haven't actually shown you what it is yet. It's this. So Carly got in touch with me. You'll have probably seen a few other YouTubers do videos on these. They're quite a popular thing for YouTubers to do videos on. I've seen a lot of positive ones. I've also seen some um, from professional tuners, but I feel like if you're gonna go with a professional tuner, you know you're not gonna be using a small little Bluetooth thing. And I think these have some definite benefits to everybody. So I'll show you what it is. Uh, this one is this little like adapter thing that you plug into your OBD port. Shall we, shall we uh, flip that open, Zach? Ready? Uh, if my fat finger would get in there. Ta-da, oh, ta-da. Pretty cool, right? So it's a cool little nice little box thing. Connects into your OBD2 reader. Show you where that is just down here on the, on the M3, on the E92. So I think this is like this on most, most cars, to be honest, where, it, where it's located. So it's just uh, in the little clip just there. And then, where's my keys? I don't know if the car's actually got me on for this, but we'll put it on anyway. <laughs> Plug it in like that. The readers actually come on, so it might connect to it. But we'll start up anyway because we've got a new exhaust on the car, so it's actually want to go to the back for the start up. Boop. But by, just bear in mind the car is warm, so I'm going to give it a little rev. with the full full version they've unlocked it for me so i just want to be completely transparent they, they've unlocked all this for me and i've already put my car in the cool thing is it does like diagnostics checks on your car it will throw up some codes on stuff so my my m3 rarely gets used i i think in the nearly two years i've owned it i've done about seven thousand miles so that's like not huge amounts but I feel like this this one here is what I believe is the most important one to you because obviously it does do some cool stuff where you, you get to like mess with a load of stuff and customize a load of stuff so you can get like true speed readings on your dashboard you can get which I think is a pretty cool little feature you can get um you can adjust how the lights all work when you turn it on and all the angel eyes on the car itself but I really want to focus in on this one the the used car check please connect your car so you just hit the connect button and it does this little bluetooth thing can you see that in the screen yeah and then uh it connects and then it scans your car for all the data. It's just a really cool little simple app. So obviously you're not going to be able to like tune your car with this like realistically, but you are going to be able to, sorry, I've got low battery. I didn't prepare for this at all. So here we are. So we've got like, because it's a used car, it's telling me I, I've got an old car. It's reminding me that my car isn't the hip new wagon that BMW produced. But what I'm going to, I don't mind that. It's okay, I wouldn't change this car for the world. So then what we do is we are gonna first go straight to used car because this is like 
Is that the right thing? Oh. I think it is the used car check. Yeah, here we go. It is the used car one. Sorry, I've just been a bit dim. In here, we can hit start your car check. And what this does, it then like does this little Bluetoothy thing where it reads like your data on your car. Now, if genuinely, if I was to buy another BMW, which I, I probably, hopefully, one day will be in the position to do, I'd love to get myself an F80 M3 one day, and I'd definitely take this thing along just to be able to plug it in and do this check here. The, in my opinion, this is so so important, especially with cars that can hold such a premium when they have low mileage, and obviously service history can be forged, and people have the ability to clock these, so that means they can wind back the. Uh, the clocks and make your car look lower mileage than it truly is. Now when you've got, uh, in this car obviously it's a 4 litre V8, when you've got something like that that obviously has the, the was it, what is the problem these things have? Is it the rods, bearings and the shells? Like, basically they, they, they need doing after about 60,000 miles. So someone could have a 60, 65,000 mile car, wind it back to 30k, you think you're going to get 30,000 mileage out of it when realistically you should be having that, the, the big ends do, doing on it anyway. So, we'll see here it's got four factual data points. And thankfully for me, it says here, highest safe mileage, uh, no tampering, basically. No mileage higher than what the dashboard is indicating. It's the lowest mileage is uh, between 39,000 and 40,983, which is exactly what it reads on the dashboard just there. You see, just there on the dash, it's reading 40,983, which is fantastic. But it does do some other cool stuff, so let's check it out while I've got it here. It's that one that shows you all the, there you go, the performance diagnostic. So you can hit this and it shows you any fault codes that are thrown up in your car. Now, because I barely use this thing, and not because I don't like it, just because I have other tra methods of transport, my battery always goes low, which means you're gonna see a bunch of fault codes throw up, all because of the battery. And it tells you that, it's really, really, it's really, really cool. It's really sound little features like that that, I don't know, it just gives me a bit of confidence, I guess, knowing that there's not actually anything wrong with the car itself. It tells you there, look, faults found, faults round. Now, I'm not going to lie, I've already looked through these, and I know that it's all, all to do with the uh, the battery. And once you've, like, basically looked through them all and go, oh, there's a fault found in this, ECU okay, no, no fault found, all that sort of malarkey, you can actually wipe them. So you can start clearing off the app. I'm not going to do that because I'm actually going to be having this car professionally remapped by Velocity Tuning um, when I have some money again, uh, which we will do a video on, it should be cool, um, but Tommy at Velocity is going to gonna do it and I want to make sure the car has every code, etc. so he knows exactly what he's working with, I don't want to tamper with it before he goes, goes ahead with it. Uh, we've also got this, now I haven't actually looked at this bit yet, this is the customising bit. And I've seen some other YouTubers do bits on this. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I don't actually want to change this car at all. So I'm not going to be messing with it. But I'm going to show you what you can do if you fancy it. So it's, it's, it's rad. Like, So if you've got like a 320D that you want to have different like windows going up and down when you get in, you can do it. It's cool. It's just chicken now. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, baby, she sounds so good. There we go. Number of compatible ECUs, whatever that means i drive video in motion oh yeah so what i understand about this as well is you can turn this into a dvd player while you're driving along which is terribly dangerous but great for your passenger um i definitely wouldn't advise doing that if you aren't able to concentrate <laughs> because if you are easily distracted like me you might end up watching whatever's on there and not what's in front of you and i feel like you should probably focus on the road in front. But it's a cool feature nonetheless. Pin lane change, like, uh, actually I don't even know. I don't... A backup of the current coding data is being created. Oh yeah, so another thing that does, I forgot to mention this, it creates a backup of what your car starts out as. So if you mess with it and aren't happy with it, you are able to delete it, which is pretty sick. I just think it's a cool little app, especially for that mileage thing. Like, I think that is a very important little, little, doohickey gadget thing that you could take with you and be like okay I'm just gonna plug this in and connect it to the car and then in one minute you can go oh this car has been clocked I'm not interested and save yourself a world of pain so you go you can like alternate your wiper intervals and how long they stand still for oh my goodness there's so much stuff you can do on this headlight cleaning on and off whoa actually so I turn that off because it actually annoys me, the wiper cleaning thing. I'm going to leave it on for now, but maybe we'll turn that off in the future. That was so good. Mm -hmm. 
that looks so gross. <laughs> Yeah, I made myself gag. I'm sorry viewers, that's definitely going in the video. I wish my wrist hadn't gone all ganky. Right, another backup done. So here we go, here's another little thing that it can do. Continue open your window when your door is opened, off. Continue window action when engine starts. Don't even know what that means. Mirror tilt, on and off, on and off. Uh, but yeah, there's loads of cool stuff you can do. If you fancy grabbing one of these, I'm gonna leave a link down below where you can get one. I 100% would pick one of these up if you're going to look at one to buy. I, I genuinely think that's a very important thing. Uh, I'm going to keep hold of this for sure. And I will use it if and when I can afford to go pick myself up an F80 M3 without selling this one. Which might be a long time, but at least we know we'll have it somewhere. <laughs> might have to search for it, but we'll have it somewhere. But yeah, I think it's a really, really cool thing. Standard and double for hazard lights. What does that mean? Wow, there's so much you can do on this thing. This is actually cool. So yeah, link down below if you want one. We're now gonna go up to um, buy some other stuff for another one of the project cars. So if you're interested in seeing what I'll get up to in the garage, please make sure you're subscribed. Um, thank you Carly for sponsoring this video and sending me across one of your cool little adapter things, which is just down here. If Zach can get in there and get a nice little shot of that. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, I hope this has been a bit form informative for people. Normally I just act the fool on this channel, so it's quite nice to actually show you something that may actually benefit you without being a clown. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna take this car now to the other side of Colt, just start, give it a little run out, do some revs, have some fun, and then, uh, yeah, crack on this evening with something else. Right, see you later guys. Uh, this is my friend Zach. He's uh, kindly helped me film this video. So give him a little follow. He's got a photo account now. Amazing photographer. So make sure you check him out. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you again in the next video. Peace.